My name is Zach Coca with Minerik Drives, and in this video we're going to show you how to connect the PCM4 to the MM23001C drive. Now this video already assumes you've taken the necessary steps to calibrate the voltage input signal on your PCM4. Make sure you also have a multimeter handy, as we'll be using it to calibrate the output. The first thing we're going to do is apply power to the board. Then we're going to set our power supply to 10 volts, which we're going to associate with the drive to max speed. The next thing we have to do is measure the voltage across the two output terminals, 1 and 2. You can see it's reading 3.16 volts. The drive associates 1.4 volts with max speed on a 90 volt motor and 2.8 volts on a 180 volt motor. Since we're using a 90 volt motor, we need to adjust the max out trim pot counterclockwise down until it reads 1.4 volts on the output terminals. Like so. Now that we've calibrated the output of the isolation card, it's time to attach it to the drive. All we have to do is connect leads to both output terminals. Now, output terminal 1 will be connected to S1 on the drive, and output terminal 2 will be connected to S2. Now that we have everything connected, it's time to go over a quick test procedure to make sure everything is working properly. We're going to turn on our power supply and start applying voltage slowly. We can see that the power supply is being sent to the isolation card, which is sending the signal to the drive, which is then controlling the motor. Seems we can reach max speed, and everything's working properly. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Minerik Drives. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit us at www.minerikdrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815-624-69. Five zero.